It's time to go on a new journey. <laughs> Hopefully there's no day one patch when we hit zero. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Thank you, Ozzy. Enjoy yourself too. So, my people, sons and daughters of the Elk Tribe, for four years we have been speedrunning Horizon Zero Dawn, conquered multiple challenges in Horizon Zero Dawn as well. But now, after mastering the Savage East and, of course, the Kadia Sundom, later on, of course, we even took on the Cuts and conquered that as well. Now, time to journey west to yet a new land, the Forbidden West, and see what it has to offer. We will fight any machine, any man that stands in front of us, and we will conquer this new territory. Because soon, they will know that the Forbidden West belongs to the Elk Tribe. So let's begin our journey. I'll acknowledge the subs in a bit, but thank you. Let's boot up the game. Thank you so much, guys. Here we go. It's booting up. I know you guys can't see it, but I have the biggest smile on my face right now. Oh! <clears throat> uh, we are definitely going with English here. And speech and movie language, English. Uh, don't have an HDR monitor. Got all the alerts. I'll mute them for a sec here while we start up the game. Just because it's getting a little loud now. Oh wait, the BRB screen is still there. <laughs> Through a lifetime Oops. spent in the pursuit of knowledge, oh. one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock. Lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all the secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. She prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hindi sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. Sorry I talked there in the beginning, I didn't expect a cutscene right away. 
But man, what a buildup. Uh, let me turn on the audio a little bit there again. Uh, uh, wait, the volume. Gonna go that to max so we can hear every piece of dialogue. But here we go, the boot up screen. But yeah, that was a recap of the first game, I guess. Narrated by uh, Silence, Lance Reddick. Woof! <laughs> ah, I feel so excited. <laughs> Let's go. Let me uh, quickly acknowledge all the subs that came out of nowhere when we started there. Holy crap, you guys were generous. Uh, thank you so much to Sipor for the sub. Welcome to the L Tribe. Enjoy your emotes. Uh, CHR with 25 gifted subs. Thank you so much, dude. That's really awesome and generous of you. Uh, I'm not gonna read out all the names now, but uh, enjoy the emotes, everybody that got a sub from CHR. And welcome to chat. Uh, Real Dupe gifted 10 subs. Thank you so much for your generosity as well. Thank you so much. It truly means a lot from both of you, so thank you. Uh, Greedy Olka as well gifted us up to Crimson Wolf. Crimson, enjoy your emotes. Everybody who got gifted us up, enjoy your emotes. And Greedy Olka, thank you so much. That's amazing. I really appreciate your guys' generosity. And then Jax with a Prime sub. Thank you so much as well. Welcome to l Tribe to you too. Enjoy your emotes and welcome to chat. Now, God, this music is so good. <laughs> but... <laughs> Thank you all for the massive generosity, I really appreciate it. It like, really means a lot that you guys are willing to support me the way you do. Um, so thank you so much, it truly means a lot. Um, so, uh, where, where was I? Uh, and uh, <laughs> Creep Stonegate, thanks for the 100 bits as well, appreciate it. So yeah, we're about to get our first paper. <laughs> Uh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I'm too excited and I also want to thank everybody here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so just quickly want to reiterate before we start the first playthrough, my chat on Twitch for the people that are watching live. The chat is currently in subscriber only mode, so you need to be a sub in order to chat. The reason why I've done this for my first playthrough is because... Um, is because there's just too many spoilers, too many leaks, too much info about the game out there already. So in order to keep spoilers to a, as close to a minimum as I can, we put the chat in sub-only mode. Until I've beaten the game. Once I've beaten the game, chat will be open again for everybody to talk in the chat. Because uh, normally when I stream, everybody is free to talk in the chat, but, you know, due to the reasons I just described, I had to take some drastic measures. And, uh, you know... Uh, what's it called? Put it in sub-only mode. So I apologize if you're not a sub. You can still enjoy the stream, of course. So, uh, yeah. Uh, seriously, the tile screen is so pretty. It is. <laughs> it really is. Oh boy. Um, we got accessibility, settings, new game, extra. I assume extra is just credits, right? Recap movie, that's probably what we just watched. Copyright and trademark, yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna look over accessibility just yet. It might be when we get into the game. Let me quickly check settings. Um, I just audio here. I like to take sound effects down to 80 when I play. I assume that's gonna be the same for. Um, uh, I assume that's gonna be the same for um, like it was in HCD. Uh, so let's see. Favorite resolution? No, favorite performance, please. We want that high frame rate, please. Uh, all right so before i start uh can a sub uh, make a oh sorry not a sub can a mod uh, make a command ready for the difficulty i'm playing on actually no we'll just add it to the title actually no people are probably gonna ask so make a uh you can make a command so you can easily answer the question i guess because a lot of people will probably ask throughout the playthrough uh, you'll know the name of the difficulty in a sec once I start. I'll make sure to change the title, by the way, once we start it uh, with difficulty, but if you might want to have a command to answer the difficulty question, you can make one. Alright, so, 
think we are done looking at this pretty screen and listening to this awesome music. So, shall we get started? Let's click the new game button and see what happens. So we have story easy, normal, oh sorry, yeah story easy, normal, hard and very hard. So there's no ultra hard. Hopefully we'll get ultra hard eventually or maybe very hard is just harder than it was in the last game. We'll see. But for now it's very hard. So uh, we're going to be playing on very hard difficulty. Because I like a good challenge, so that's what we're going for. Uh, assistance. Uh, let's see. Explore. Minimal hot information. Look at the world to find your way. Guided. Marks and icons on screen to assist you on your journey. Oh. Huh? I don't really know here. I feel like we're gonna start out with Explore, just to see what it is. We can always change the Guided, I assume, if we change our mind. We'll go with Explore. Uh, feel free to add that to the command as well, Seth, if you want to. Uh, Birthgar, thanks for the seven-month resub. Really appreciate it. Thank you for your continued support. Hope you're doing well. So, let's begin. Explore. Here we go. I'll, uh, of course, try my best not to talk doing uh, loading or doing cutscenes and dialogue. But I'll be quiet. And let me know how the audio is, by the way, uh, when we play the game. If it's too loud, like game audio, if it's too loud or too quiet. Here we go. Oh, it looks so good. Thunder jaw. Oh my god, the colors just puff. Stormbird? That is the red plan. I'm yeah, running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, they'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then, extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia, the AI you designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing. Her hair is definitely longer. And every night, I have the same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. God, the niggas. And for a moment, I feel whole. But it never lasts.
This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Yo. Laurel? <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So, what are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um, I, I should- Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. You're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. Shall we? Yeah, it's the shield reaver. But the shield is not on because it's not blinking. Scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. Guess we're playing now? Oh, here we go. Hello? These plants don't Holy look crap, like the ones in good. the sacred lands. <laughs> Holy shit. The focus <laughs> looks so good. The ones we need. God damn, look at this. God damn, are you guys seeing this? <laughs> There. Those plants by the stream should do the trick. Yeah, damn. <laughs> wow, I uh, just want to quickly comment on that first cutscene. Like, they just went straight for the fields, didn't they? With that uh, so big right there. <laughs> I guess, Ugh. yeah, medicine. Later. Yeah, well, at least they make you feel better. All right, we should keep going. Yeah, medicine uh, seems to work the same way. <laughs> Uh, one sec here. Uh, can we access accessibility from here? Uh, one thing I just noticed. Uh, I know you can change the subtitles to be a little larger, so... Just because I know they're a little small right now, so some of you might not... Uh, be able to read them too easily, so let's change to large. I want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah, good idea. The UI definitely looks a lot more minimalistic so far. We got rocks, we got medicine, fast travel pack, I assume. This is what I want to see. Is this the map? Ah. Teasing us was this slow, small little map. I guess this is supposed to be this version's childhood section. 
Let's see, we got skills, we got inventory, quests. Ooh, looks slick. And the scene catalog and all that. Nice. That's a loud noise. Oh, bad. Yeah, rolling. I can already look at it and it seems like rolling's gonna be faster. Oh well. We are used to it as speedrunners, I guess. <laughs> What's that? Tap while moving forward to vault obstacles. Oh, that's new. I like that. What's this? A sand and blight. <coughs> oh, this stuff spreads fast. Six months ago, the land was fine. Now it's everywhere. Those ruins. Yeah, no joke spoilers in the chat, guys. I see a few ways down. We have two ways down. We can do a zip line, or we can. What are we after exactly? The backup. Well, um, it's an AI. It's um. It's hard to explain. So we can go with zip lines, or Think we can jump like... in the water. And you guys, I mean, come on. You have to go and jump world. in the water. Sounds complicated. Go. No machines around. I have a feeling I'm no gonna get here, ambushed uh, here. Traveling light these Do we days. have air? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Glendhawks. Why does it have to be Glendhawks? God damn it, game. You're not gonna give me Glendhawks right away. You. That's just. Not cool. Oh, underwater. So you just dive straight into water and. Oh, cool. We haven't had the breathing device so far. Breathing feels really good. Control's pretty good. Kind of like Sparrow, you just get a type. Oh, you dodge some server. Wow, this looks this is some good looking water. <laughs> Uh, before I head to that Glimpog, because that seems to be where we're going, I just want to see what's over here. This breathing device was in the very first train. <laughs> Get over it. Something tells me there's something down here. More blight. Does it hurt me to stand in it? Here too. No. It looks like we can't stand in it. I wasn't sure if it was going to be... Poisonous or something? Can you dive under this? Probably not. Maybe there is nothing here. Just wanted to quickly check. Oh. Getting stuck on things already. I might not be looking too much at chat here in the beginning just because. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. As well. Yeah, good idea. There's a lot to see right now, so... <laughs> yeah, at the beginning of the game, so... Might not have too much time to look at chat. Glimhawks. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. They're just flying away. Okay, we don't have to fight Glimhawks, at least. Good. Good. Can't stand Glimthogs, and I have a feeling I'm not gonna like them in this game either. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, that blue color for the water is it's beautiful. On the map here. I'm not sure if it's coming through on stream, but those colors really just pop. You love to see it. Alright, let's head down here. I don't know where we are exactly. We haven't found that out yet. In that machine. Better take a closer look. It's giving me a lot of medicine. I'm not sure if it's because of the beginning of the game or we're about to get ambushed. The ladder over there. Still haven't gotten wood. What is this? It's a scrapper. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. I assume this There's is some Ridgewood by the stream. Yes. Got Ridgewood. All right. Now to craft some arrows. Okay. 
done. Me too. Arrows ready. Is that a blast or a machine? Definitely gonna run into something soon. Is that a fish? No. How do I dive underwater? Oh yeah, square. I mean, the controls on the water feel so smooth. I love it. I was a little afraid it wasn't gonna feel this good, but I get controls really smoothly. Nice. There's a ladder, but I can't reach it from here. Are you, you sure? I'm a speedrunner. Not ball. free. Just have to target the lock. Wait. Oh, you have to shoot the boat. That did it. After you. Probably can skip that, I guess. We'll find a way to skip that. <laughs> I've got it. What was this place? I don't know. Yeah, what was the transmission? This place? The uh, message I found didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. Hey, can you do the double looting trick? Or did they fix that for this game? Let me see. Looks so, like the animation um, is still gonna be there. What happened after? Yeah, they they patched the million. quick looting. Well, there was a fuss when people or I guess patched it gone. and included from this game. Then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. Damn it! They patched the quick looting. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get over that. All right. So it looks like there's a ladder over there we need to get to. Can we do something with this blight thing? <coughs> oh wait, it actually does damage you. It doesn't? <coughs> I don't know how it works yet. But you do take a little bit of damage apparently. Down this way. There was a ladder over here. Now hang on a minute. I want to see what was over by this ladder. Sorry, I'm gonna explore a lot in this playthrough, so bear with me. But I'm sure you guys are doing the same when you play it. <laughs> oh, you can bolt up here. Hologram? Is this intended that I can see this now? Because it keeps pushing me off. I can get up here. Is that... I see the hologram game. Don't hide it. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> but it keeps pushing me down, so I guess this is not intended. Fair enough, game. You win this one. <laughs> but I assume we watch that hologram, then Slatter probably leaps back down, maybe. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> I saw that hologram. You can't hide that from me. Wait, tall grass, so let me guess. Stealth tutorial coming up. <laughs> oh, the barrel. Never seen one of those before. Me neither. Machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Give it a second. It's I. It's a weak spot. Okay. Got All it. Right. I'm ready. So I guess we are finding the burrow here. The other machine. It looks okay, like another. Concentrate. Gotta remember we are playing on very on here, so. Big spear swing here. Easy. Find anything good? A few supplies. Looks like there's a lot more barrel crosses here with arrows in them. Oh, more. Hello there, buddy. Okay, 
Okay, it throws rocks, apparently. And we can critical strike if we knock him down. How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. So, after so I guess I could also have done this stealthy if I had used the tall grass, I assume, and nothing. just stabbed him right away. Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city, and I set out to find you. Hmm. The Sona went home after the battle, and they will build the city of the Kaja? Another ladder. Good to know. Need to shoot off the log. Shoot off the log, indeed. Got it. Someone shot this machine, too. But yeah, there's arrows in all those dead machines, so... Some human hunters around here. You were a child, right? Yeah. Found my first one when I Do found you see anything over there? Got the others from an old cache not long ago. That's good to have extras. Well, is an exile now? Have to crouch. Oh, now we're up here. Where we were supposed to be. Welcome to the Far Zenith Launch Facility. Wait. Far Zenith? I, I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but... Odyssey. Far Zenith. Why they have a backup of Gaia? Those are the guys that uh, rebuild Odyssey. For the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. Yeah, Mal is a seeker. Not Everybody who joined uh, Aloy for the fight in Meridian became a seeker. So Far Zenith, if you don't remember from Horizon Zero Dawn, was the guys that took over the Odyssey after it failed the first time, or failed to get fun funding. But uh, Far Zenith, they did launch the Odyssey because of the apocalypse happening, but uh, according to Sobek, the Odyssey exploded. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you. Dr. Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Well, let's find so a way in. So, if they're not on great terms with Sobek, would they lie about the explosion? Who knows? <laughs> Please hold for identity scan. Lone Hall. Access denied. Credentials not recognized. I guess it doesn't like me either. <laughs> Val tried it as well. Good job, Val. He's learning quick. He's a quick learner. I like it. Uh, Lone Hog, thank you for the six month reads. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your continued support. It means a lot. Open. Oh, pride open. When in doubt, use the spear. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Hmm. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Yeah, where are they? Ugh, what's that stench? Entire camp. Oh, I doubt. They must have come here to Delphi scrap. Is that acid? poison? That explains the smell. Oh yeah, it's acid. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. Acid came in from above, something we big. We should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Why do I feel like this is gonna be a snake? These are definitely Osiram guys. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. What are you finding? I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. Sounds like we're getting the hook shot. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. Hmm. 
My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. I guess uh, the purple markers. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. A lot of supplies here. Machine cable. I guess they plan to stay a while. Stronger than rope. Note to self: Osram armor does not last against uh, what's it called? Acid. Anything down here? So I guess a Aloy is on the lookout for the Odyssey. It looks like they were <laughs> training dummy here. I guess they were uh, training against the. Oh, look at that spear animation when you jump and slash or jump and quick hit. Oh, look at that! That's sick animation. That guy. Oh, we break them. Broke it. Well, he's dead now. He will. Uh, he will not be in Horizon Three. What is this? Part of a machine. Could help fix the gears. All right. I think I have what I need to repair the tool, or maybe even make something better. This is a supply crate. This workbench. Got some. Uh... Still water and metal shots. And we have a workbench. Cool. Uh, pull caster. Oh boy, we're getting it early. You love to see it. Craft it. Craft complete. Pull caster. There. Uh, pull caster. Now to test it on the debris. Let's go. Pullcaster is a versatile tool that allows you to pull, uh, sorry, allows you to manipulate objects, objects in the environment have a graded pattern. Gotcha. So how? Oh, tap triangle. Then pull. Keep holding it too. Better than I thought. No, that works. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. Huh. The hole? What's this thing for? What's this? Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to... Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Interesting. Wonder what's in this. Is your purpose Honestly. to learn more about surroundings and Let's solve find puzzles. Out. puzzles? Gotcha. Wait, can you use it up here? This looks like a pole caster spot. Oh. You have to equip. I should open up my focus display and see what I can find. The way you do it? Am I being dumb right now? Probably not how you're supposed to do it. Ah, one. That's a spear swing. What is a bow called, by the way? I haven't even looked at it. It's just a regular hunter bow. Fair enough. Wait. I don't think a pulse from my focus is enough here. I better scan the area. How am I supposed to do this? Did I miss a hint or something? I think I did. <laughs> Anything over here? Nope. I feel like I'm being dumb right now. Any luck? Not yet. 
But scanning oh. the area with my focus activated might show me something. Gum and tap. Oh, there we go. That's how you did. Wow. I just need to scan it first. That pull caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Ah, uh, you'll get Don't one worry. eventually. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. Oh, get yourself one. Oh. What can I do from here? Oh, climb. I see. Good old climbing. That felt pretty much identical to Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, oh that broke. Uh, okay, I gotta drop the ladder here. for Varl. Uh, Aloy, could you lower the ladder? Really? Yeah, on it. There you go, Varl. Thanks. Varl needs a bit more patience, I guess. push the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The serious system. There will create humanity's first off world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. <laughs> the playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Hmm. More exposition from Horizon Zero Dawn? That you would know if you read all the data points. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For a colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. Recruitment video, let's go. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. Thank you, Agnota. Oh, here we go. 
little there. launch pad? The backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. Alright. I also really like the detail on, like, uh, Val's face, by the way. The fact that, um... I still can't believe the old ones can fly. You know, his uh, face paint is kind of faded. Of you can tell things. he's been traveling for a long time. Good. Especially away from the Norland. Sure seems like it. I wonder what it's like up there. Among the stars. That was a trick. Wait, what's up here? Show off. <laughs> Only for you, Val. Actually, no, I show off for everyone. Am I kidding? <laughs> Who am I kidding? Deeper into the creepy ruin we go. More blight. I assume the blight is probably from Demeter, the. Above us. What is that thing? We might have been able to kill those off soon. Why does it have to Keep be snakes? Oh my god. I is hate up. snakes. <coughs> oh up here. <laughs> Careful. Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. <laughs> you take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. I hate snakes. <laughs> I can't like stand them. To take it out with my spear. Most people can't hate spiders and stuff. I just can't stand snakes. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. I can throw a rock to distract it. We could, or we Put can walk up and step. I can sneak up and strike. Just have to wait for the right moment. Animation looked a little off, but we got it. It looks like uh, gotcha. the, the game is still very forgiving when it you. comes to spear steps, just like Zero Dawn was. Good to know. That's so nice, you can jump gaps so easily. Nice little touch. Did you loot him? You didn't loot him, Val. You're supposed to loot them. We need the resources. I'll happily take them for you. More of those machines ahead. Nothing more I can't handle. It gets better. Is he coming? Do we have a strike from a bell? Let's just wait for him to lose track, yeah? Your lead. It's very hard difficulty. Apparently, they can still easily one shot these guys. But the Barrows are probably the watchers of the Forbidden West, so perhaps not too surprising. Is there only one? Where's there two? Oh, there's two. To mention, I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry my whiskers offend you, anointed. Aloy doesn't like the beard, apparently. I don't know where that thing came flying from, by the way, but 
Bit sad Ayla doesn't like the beer, because I don't know about you guys, but I actually feel like it looks good on him. Because me and Aloy doesn't have the same taste. Oh well. Oh. Oh, that dead fox. Can I get the skin? Looks like this little guy got caught up in the blight. I couldn't escape. I hope it didn't suffer long. Oh, by the way, sorry I missed the sub earlier. Uh, Wandering Falcon, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Welcome to the tribe. Enjoy emotes. Really appreciate it. And Acid Queen as well. Thank you for the sub. Welcome to the tribe as well. Enjoy emotes, both of you. Thank you so much for the support. It means a lot to me. So thank you. All right. Uh, I walk a lot slower in water, but uh, I guess that makes sense. Is there anything up here? Looks like there's something. Is that a climbing spot? I kind of like how it... Look at that. I like how Aloy just kind of grabs onto the wall. Like, it, it's a little bit more realistic than just jumping against it, I guess. They can get over here, but... Doesn't look like there's anything here. Unless we're about to discover a speedrun skip. <laughs> oh, never mind. Guess not. So it looks like in this... I assume we're still in the starting area here. It looks like there's no data points or stuff like that around. Or really anything outside the ordinary? The Osram must have used explosives against the machines. They managed At least so to get far. a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. It looks like we're definitely not in the, the open machines world must yet, have broken so. through. Oh. Gotta get the loot. Oh, hello. More dead Osram? Yeah, the potion. Keep this for later. All Guess the that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Wow, look at the lighting there. That's some good lighting. If only my monitor was a little better, so I could probably enjoy that lighting a little better. Careful. Oh, traps ahead. Huh. Traps. Might be able to disarm them. Do, 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 do. Disarm. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. And not blow it. yourself up. And got more supplies. And <laughs> not blow yourselves up. I like uh, Wild's witty Looks wittiness. Like another Ooh, another one. While we're here, maybe Take we that. can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. I have a feeling there's going to be a trophy for beating these dummies. Another bucket head down. Indeed. Kill all the bucket heads. More loot. And yes, before somebody points it out, I am looting. As we are at the beginning of the run. Oh, there's another one. Careful, Bob. We are being overrun by buggers. I assume heavy attack is going to break quicker. Come on. Break. There we go. No bugger head stands before me. This? Also, I have no idea how big my inventory is, so Check I guess we just I gotta to keep looting. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, it's a climbing spot. Wait, there's a pool caster thing. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's faster. All grass, so... Oh, scrapper. I assume that's a scrapper. It looks like one. They look a bit more... slick. Is a, for lack of a better word. It looks to be a scrapper. Stupid as that. Did you hear that? No, you did not. Go away. I'm gonna try and this guy and see if there's a uh, strike from above him. There's not. <laughs> or maybe you can't abuse it anymore. <laughs> This 
car was really slow. I need some pain or something to get it back. From this to this. We're clear. Let's keep going then. Whoa. Shrunk? Okay, so it's not a scrabber. It looks like a scrabber, but it's not. Let's hope it doesn't come this way. I think that's the snake still roaming around. We can go through here. Yeah, this is basically a stall tutorial, I assume. That's a big storm picking up out there. Yeah. Oh. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. Storm. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah. But I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Oh wait, what was that? More loot. Iron Inga. Hey, Varl. There's data here. You scan it with your focus. Hmm. This data mentions the tech that Far Zenith traded with Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn trade agreement. It doesn't explain how they got it back up. Can you get it to read out loud or do I have to read again? <laughs> like I did in the story playthrough. <clears throat> I guess I'm reading. Zero Dawn trade agreement. Text locked. Uh, data corruption partial. High Council executive, executive summary. Negotiations with representatives from Zero Dawn have concluded. And I'm extraordinarily pleased that we have arrived at a mutual profitable agreement. It shows that sh it shows that sugar usually goes uh, down better than salt. In contrast to the uh, less tractful recommendations of certain uh, of certain of or more uh, reactionary members. In short, Fasinov will provide a copy of the prototype Homer archive already sent. Five hundred uh, ego. Egg Ectogenic uh, chambers to be retrieved from storage at our uh, Ninma facility. Uh, supplementary, uh, sorry, supplementary echo ectogenesis re research reports. In exchange, Fastenov will receive a copy of the alpha build of the Apollo database in the week prior to the Odyssey's launch. Bioestimate or zero dawns, uh, by the estimates of zero dawns timeline. By then, it should be near complete uh, repository of human knowledge. It should it it should be noted that Dr. Sobek was was very reluctant to agree to this, but I drew a line in the sand, making it clear that this was a non-negotiable term. As our faithful media representative, I will continue to run all public communications with Dr. Sobek's team while data corrupted. I'll keep an eye out for more data. So yeah, I mean, that's basically what we learned Let's in Zero Dawn as well, that they got an oh, Apollo copy. A lot of glyphs. I'll tuck this away to study later. <laughs> Looks like we've got to climb up. Mm, I'll climb it. Probably lower this ladder. Or later use. I guess there's, oh yeah, there's probably is an auto reading setting. Uh, co pilot. Huh. Wonder what that does. I'm curious. Uh, motion blur default. Oh, you. You. Uh, camera shake, I might turn off eventually. Uh, eat movie language. Is there no auto read? Why am I blind? 
MSS default off, please. I forgot to turn that off. Mount Pillar Road, auto shielding. Auto shield ring. Oh, I assume that's the glider when we get it. Um, maybe it's on the audio. Not tinnitus sounds. Uh, does anybody know if there's a setting for getting things to read out loud? see it isn't one okay i'll just have to read out loud for you guys then it's fine oh. this place is really falling apart it's almost the like it's been here for years old. <laughs> damn it aloy you stole my line how dare you <laughs> she stole my line looks like some kind of meeting room that door on the other side's locked there's another one of those glowing things by the table where are you? How did you see that if you Maybe were Maybe that thing climbing? at the table does something. Onzu. Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system. The brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. So they stole it. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Long story. Uh, um, <laughs> it's okay, Prawl. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made by a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup? is like a set of instructions. It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Borl. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus, but for now... The report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay?
He's taken it well, considering his entire world review was just blown. I just want to check these data points. Oh, oh, this takes to these data points. Hello. We gotta get the lore, everyone. Intel update. So who's the rat in Cyrodon? <clears throat> Text mail from F. Yahaiwi. <laughs> I probably butchered that name so badly, I I apologize. <clears throat> uh, from F. Yahayoi uh, to, I assume, Farsinit Headquarters is what that stands for, or Farsinit HC, I'm not sure. Subject, Intel update. June uh, 1st, 2065. Esteemed members of the High Council, the latest intelligence report is attached. I expect I'll have another update by the end of the week. FY attachment, Elizabeth Sobek. <clears throat> All sources indicate that Dr. Sobek continues to work on obsessively, uh, obsessively on Gaia's development, pushing herself to psychological and physical exhaustion, despite managing a lab team. Our sources note that she spends most of her time in isolation, which is consistent with her previously documented habits, detailed fully in her main file. Conclusion: Dr. Sobek remains unaware of Project Ansu, Sources will uh, continue monitoring her for any uh, change in behavior. Ted Farrow. Mr. Farrow continues to ex uh, exhibit extreme guilt and psychological instability. His savior complex, detailed in his main file, renders him incapable of dealing with his uh, culpability for the in independent extinction of life on Earth. While his attendance is attention is largely uh, preoccupied, with the construction of a Thebes, our source confirmed he is recently concerned uh, Hank Shaw into installing a secret backdoor into the Zero Dawn system. Capable of su uh, superseding Alpha authority, it's unclear what Mr. Farrow intends to accomplish with this, but while it may pose a risk down the line to Zero Dawn's success, it should not impact Ansu's goal. Conclusion. Irrelevant to far seen its aim, no further action necessary. Hmm. So Hang Shaw was the guy that helped him make the back door. So he could contact the Alphas from while he was in Thebes, which is the bunker that Pharaoh was in. After the world ended. Uh Blink GB, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the support, man. <coughs> Hang Shaw. The latest check-in with Mr. Shaw confirms. He is continuing work in his role as a project beta of the Hades subordinate function, and his connection to an organization has gone undetected. He has demanded premium accommodation for his um, birth on the Odyssey, which was agreed to. Conclusion: Mr. Saw Shaw is on target to deliver a copy of Gaia after transmission. He will be removed from the equation prior to the Odyssey's launch. Refer to the auction plan. Action plan. Wait, he will be removed from the equation prior to the Odyssey launch, so I guess they killed him? But they, they, Yeah, he was the snitch that sent them Gaia and he was a beta on Hades. I assume, is that what I'm understanding here? So yeah, he helped make a backdoor for Pharaoh, but he also managed to send a copy of Gaia to Far Senate in in order to get a spot on the odyssey but they i assume they killed him given what it says there at the end yeah e either they killed him or they just left him behind when they took off i guess uh was there some text to these ones uh let me just check if there's extra text to these holograms no no. Was there anything else here? Let me just make sure I am. At least that's how I'm reading that data point. I don't know if you guys agree with that assessment of it. Huh. Look at that. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. I could use. Music to me. Those Osram must have left us behind. 
Oh. Can't help them. That's but it. Can't help us. The weapon. Thanks, Varl. We should keep moving. After you. See ya, Frank. Take care. What is it? Ooh, a free sling. Let's go. Uh... Right. Oh, there we go. Nice. We got a free sling. Frost blasting. Or frost, I guess they call it in this game. Fair enough. So interesting. We're learning a lot of lore in the beginning here, as I would have expected. But they immediately play into the Down Odyssey here. thing, which I, you know, not complaining about. <sighs> but very interesting to learn about Shaw there. Almost back outside. I wonder why Travis Good. Tate was not supposed to know about it. I mean, he was the Alpha on Hades, so I assume he... And he's an elite hacker, so... You know, he could counter-attack Pasinev, I guess. Oh! Look, that must be the machine. It's heading in the same direction we're going. Great. That's controlling fuel. Uh, very smooth, just like uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. But then again, I, they couldn't really improve much on that. Oh. Machines. Hello. I could try out that new weapon. Right? Oh yeah, let's freeze it. Good hit. Oh. Well, I'm missing every shot I have. That thing is so slow. Holy crap. Direct hit from there, you just... can do more damage to it while it's brittle. Gotcha! Okay, you can take the cold. Three plus arrows is still a good combo. Nope, more Osram. Awesome. The Osram awesome Delvers. And a lot of acid. Are we close to that the claims since there's, there's a lot of Osram? They, to escape. they didn't stand a chance. Because I'm still not sure exactly where we are. I don't know if there's been a clue that I've missed, but I guess we'll find out eventually. This looks a lot like. Oh, look at that. So, roof. you said this backup is the last hope. Yeah, all those places I've been these last few months. There were supposed to be more backups, but a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Was he part of Far Zenith too? No, he was worse. He was worse. <laughs> I mean, fair assessment. A little space to move around here. I know we have just started this game, but since it says that Aloy, you know, we're exploring for six months and all that. We've just started this game, but that always already seems like, a, you know, a possible. Uh, is that a horse? No, that's a plane. Uh, that already seems like an obvious DLC they could do. Wow. Aloy in the six months between the, these like two the games. Ship we saw back in the auditorium. Imagine going up to the stars in that. I guess this is a spaceship. Yeah, it has the small padding here, so it's like a space shuttle thing. I don't know if you guys know, but space shuttles have these like black uh, squares all over them. Like I think they're just called heat shields. I guess this is a space shuttle Machines of sorts. Trolling ahead. Yeah. We can tag them in the focus to oh. keep track of them. More bearers. Looks like we have two of them. Oh. Can I stop this without alerting the other? Probably not. Get spotted, but doesn't look like he knows where I am. Or does he? So these, uh, these burrows have a hard time seeing. Oh, he shoots. 
but the Barrow's having a hard time seeing. I guess it's bad. Uh... That's uh, terrible shot. Because they have like a very narrow vision. <laughs> Exactly, a pretty good um, here. companion in terms of combat so far. What's, What's in, here? in here? Anything? Oh. The machine ripped right through the wall. There's a ladder in the back. Is there anything over here? No. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's not a watcher. <laughs> All right. So tell me something. Sona was really okay with you not going back to the sacred lands. As the Nora war chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother, she wasn't pleased. Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. <laughs> well, I wonder if we're gonna see Sona again. Guess we'll find out. Oh. Guess we're going up. Up, up, up to the top. Slaughtered all those Osirum, we'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement, convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing? How? We'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy! Trust me. And there she goes. <laughs> Just need to I like that the Aloy is thinking like Kratos. Drop a massive thing on top of it. That should do it. <laughs> do the trick. Is he following or was he staying up there? I assume he's staying. Alright, let's impress him. If I can make it to that tower, I should be able to find a way across to the shuttle. It was a machine. Hard to breathe around this stuff. So many barrows around. Ready for that? Yeah. And step. Ooh, I just noticed something on the heart. When you go to stab a machine, there's a skull if it's gonna be a one shot. So I guess the game let the game lets you know if you can one shot it or not. That's convenient. If you have time to look at it. It's a little neat. I think that's what the skull indicates, because it wasn't there on, on the other the other time when the machine was a little stronger. I assume that's the indicator for that. Is that climbable? No. I mean, it kind of is. We can stand this at least. But when it comes to climbing and horizon, if there's a will, there's a way. Usually it's Goldman's at Sover, but I'm one-shotting them, so I don't think that's what it means in this game. I guess we'll find out eventually. It's just a theory for now. Uh, where am I going? 
this way behind the fence, I guess. But is there a gap in the fence? No, it does look like I need to. Well, climb up. Let's climb up and go through here. Come on, game. Hey. What is that? Gold horn pepper. There. That one can get me up to the tower. Do a bomb jump, yeah. Do a bomb jump. Ooh. Okay, there's a rail up there. This is good music. I can reach it if I launch uh, myself off that grapple point. I don't know. Tap square to drop from. Oh. I didn't get up high enough. Oh, I see, I see, I see. You have to. Before reaching the grapple point, circle to launch into the air. Got it! Oh, nice. Okay, that's how you do that. By the way, this music. It's so soothing. <laughs> it definitely sounds like music wise, it's building up to something. So long, there were three giant machines killing Osro and leaving acid everywhere. <sighs> Great. As the all. There's a hole. Uh, what am I doing? Dropping down? Oh, I'm blind. It's right here. I am blind. Well, that sounds Is good. Is this uh, the Golden Gate Bridge? No. Some sort of place where rockets are launched, but... I don't see the bridge, but there certainly is a lot of water. I assume it's by some ocean or giant lake. Storm is getting worse. We got a pretty big build up right now. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. Oh my god, look around. It's beautiful. Do you recognize anything on these mountains? Yeah? I won't be able to make that jump. There is a... Uh... Oh. Oh. Uh. Well, nowhere to go but up. This place is barely holding together. Barely holding together, but just enough to climb up. Looks like there are massive clamps holding the shuttle in place. Oh, but there's a control console nearby. Machines? If I can release the clamps, yeah, the shuttle should fall right into the basin. Oh, great. More oh, machines in my way. Going a little too aggressive right now. Since my weapons are still weak, I probably should be uh, a little less careless, perhaps. They're still very forgiving with the spear steps. Yeah, there was no skull that time, right? I forgot to look. Yes, I think the skull means you can one shot. It's nice to know that if you are planning like a really stealthy playthrough. Because that way you know if you can actually kill it or not in one go. might be in there. Oh, you yeah. go. Okay. Time to crush those machines down below. This is gonna be epic, I have a feeling. Best. 
stood snakes. Nope, cables are holding. The shuttle's caught up in those cables. I'm gonna have to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. Convenient you elevator know, is convenient. The tower. Scanning with my focus could help here. I need to reach up there somehow. Hmm. <laughs> Surely you can do this. Her legs look so weird when they're sliding off there. Oh. Can pull. Oh yeah, I can pull. I gotta remember I have this pull thingy. Would it even be a benefit to get into this early? I guess it still would be, if you can make that jump. Nothing to play around with later, but that seems like it would be doable. Try to go on the intended path challenge. Yeah, but my speedrun skip sensors are ticking. Supposed to keep going up or one. the music is really kinging up now. This is a jam. Uh, oh. Just follow the ladder, dum dum. Oh not the ladder staircase, I mean. Okay, that creaking doesn't sound good. I have to detach those cables quick. Here. This should be the right spot. There. That connector is holding the cables together. It should break if I shoot it. Shut from up there. Climb higher and attach the second set of cables. Can't go on to the shuttle. Am I in a dumb position? Yeah, I might have screwed myself here. <laughs> uh, whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. Somehow I survived that fall. Well, let's not question it. Let's head back up. Scaling an ancient rickety tower. Let's forget to listen to this Killing music a little longer. <laughs> Across. 
but since you just have to hit them with an arrow, surely you can hit them from the low without climbing all the way up. Surely that's good. Need to be even higher. Oh yeah, we climbed up here last time as well. Still feels slightly stiff, I would say. Almost there. There's the other connector. That weak spot. That sack's full of acid. I should target it first. Shoots. I guess you can't dodge backwards. Good to know. Oh, nice. Ah, try spinning at me now! Try to it. There! The canisters are exposed now. I should aim for them. Oh. I gotta be a little quicker to aim there.
much out there. Find something I can use around here. Okay. Oh, okay. I was not ready for that attack. Hello, over here, baby. Look at that. Let's see what this can do. to get to the data center. Oh, we start completely open. Scan for weak spots. Fair enough. Alright, let's get a clean up fight this time. We got this. Watch out for that acid. Got some fight left in you. It's a very unforgiving checkpoint there at the beginning. Thanks, Barbara. 
Find something I can use around here. How do you like that? No more shots. Time to drop it. Okay, he goes for two heads when he does that attack. Fair enough. For a snake, level two. He's dead. Finally. Well, the first Lilifang. We got a skill point. Should probably check out those out. Uh, holy crap! Looks complicated. So, warrior, trapper, hunter, survivor, infiltrator. So, machine master is I assume machines. Infiltrator is stealth. Survivor is like loot and stuff. Thunder, I assume weapons. Traps is traps, and warrior is probably melee combat. Probably goes for some hunter in the beginning. Concentration, re regen, deep concentration. Oh wait, we don't have this one. I guess we, I guess we just go for this one. Ranged master. I'll look over the skill tree a bit more later. But nice. GG. The data center should be straight ahead. I guess Farrell's gonna have to find another way there. More loot around? That was a good fight. I kind of respect Gorilla for throwing a Slilifang at us in the very beginning of the game. But uh, I assume on easier difficulties the fight is Once not I get the backup, I much of a challenge, Gaia. maybe? I don't know. Fix the system, heal the blight, restore Elizabeth's dream. I mean, so far, very hard actually does feel this like a good fair. challenge, so maybe there's no need for a trap, but. Of course, let's not judge it until we get a lot better weapons later on. Anyway, let's see what happens in here. Okay, I should find the server room. Server room. What's this main quest called? Reach for the stars. I didn't even notice what it was called. Oh. So down. I'm close. I have to be. Well, it's getting really cold, so it must be a server room down here. Please be here. Yeah, New Game Plus is gonna be probably a lot easier. Depending on how optimized weapons you can get. It's here. Okay. Hello. Hi. Elizabeth? Travis Tate. Now, what's 
this we got here? A Farzine's conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia? And her subordinate functions? Naughty, naughty. <laughs> you want me to handle this, Liz? Blasphemers! Brew the vipers! With a mighty hand, I smite and pour troubles upon you! <laughs> <laughs> Thou shall not steal. <laughs> Super Aztec Pokemon system. This ain't no copy of guy you stole, you losers. Travis but had too much no free time. Logic bombs. So good luck repairing your data. And next time you start thinking you can outsmart a tape, remember my salute. <laughs> Aloy? The goddess. There is no goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. I guess Fasen have never got it? Or did they? <laughs> Travis was ahead of them at least. I got it. For all... I'm sorry. You have a sharp bite sometimes, you know? But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Farl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Farl. Nobody else. He's Hold not on. Gonna say no. <laughs> Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Varl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Marad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <laughs> okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... <laughs> I've got a better idea. Just the chargers. That's the intro. Oh, Meridi. This is where the game ends normally. By the sun, it's true. She's come back. Bless us. The savior of Meridian has returned. You earned this welcome. You saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. Hello, Murad. Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashane, that makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. Oh. Come. I'll show you. The lighting looks a bit off in that, in that scene. 
Watch your step. You I saved us all, to be me. sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. It happened right after the solstice. We yeah, were able to explain it away, the thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. Anyway, let's focus on the story. They built a statue of Aloy, damn. A bit too One much. night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that. We left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I got the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Uh, are they talking about the final find. cutscene? But silence from the last game, I assume? Oh. Uh, uh, is that a statue of me? That's new. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong, especially when my job's only half done. Let's look at the map here. Oh, Meridian. Hmm. Only part of Meridian here. Fair enough. I await your findings, champion. I'll be right here until you need me. Moving over here. This. Looks like a memorial. You Honoring those who fell in the Battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. A memorial to the people that fell? Oh, that's Shoot the bevel bag pieces. from the fight on the Scrabber. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. Oh. I see more statues. Or bucket hits. Time to smash. <laughs> I hope there's some reward for doing this. <laughs> I mean, I think we just ended the tutorial at the shuttle phase. You two talking about? Lots of important people here, brothers and the sisters. Of Work like Meridian. you mean it. How do? Well, check out this beard last, because I'm sure there's more stuff to look at. <clears throat> This is what it looks like now. Hmm. So I assume what they were talking about is uh, what they were referring to with the light coming out was the Hades flying off in the after credits cutscene and went to silence. Here. Oh, supplies. I'm surprised we're already back in Meridian, but uh, didn't expect that, but fair enough. Is there really no more stuff here? I've got a bad feeling about this. I don't know. Looks the same oh. as before. That's the Deathbringer, I guess. That's part of the death. This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but it's just a piece of scrap now. What do you mean, nearly killed me? We defeated so easily every time. <laughs> Alright, let's check the spear, I guess. 
could pull this thing out of the What? Transmission. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. Uh huh. Interesting. I guess we find a way up to it. What? Ow. So did silence not give us the master override all along? Jump to that ledge behind me. No, oh, how do you do? It? What does it say? Oh, back on the circle. Two. He used his own lens that he gave a lawyer. Yeah, I think he programmed some because he gives you the spear at the end of the uh, guy prime, right? Did he program something into the spear so that when the master override would was used, it would send Hades to him? I guess I never thought about that, but that's kind of clever. At least that's the what I'm thinking right now. Gotta get used to those new climbing mechanics here. Yeah, he was pretty far ahead. Oh. He's a very clever boy, him silence, if that's what he did. Look at that. Now, With the old mess over to the spire. Look at that. Beautiful. Meridian. Sure we'll get a much better view once we get a little higher. Nice. Uh where do we go from here? I saw the climbing spot. No! Dang it. Ah, uh, whoops. Guess we're going up. I saw the climbing thingy, but the. the, 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 the what's it called? It uh, didn't react to my double tap. Still getting used to these new climbing mechanics, I guess. It'll take a little bit of time to get used to. I guess climbing got a bit more advanced, at least that's hopefully is an improvement in the long run. I probably should use... Yeah, I should have used... Oh. I should have pulled something first. Should be able to get up there now. I thought Silence was helping me when he gave me his lance. It looks like he tricked me. I transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? If I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Yeah, where do we go from here? Oh, I'm sorry. The transmission note at the top will tell me. I like that they made the spire literally climbable. Huh? Nice touch. Huh? Uh. An elevator? Let's see. Yeah, silence. Don't be pulled a sneak, sneak at one. Lucky day. Engaging maintenance configuration. The whole thing is opening up. Oh. Wonder what the Karja will make of this. <laughs> the view from up here. 
But yeah, you guys are right there. Definitely There's relying a lot more on cutscenes. <laughs> Say hi to Nox from me, sir. I see you finally figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You raped the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be... extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Eloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll come find you, all right. Yes. Well, the coordinates should make it simple enough. Even for you. <laughs> Guess we're going west. <laughs> inside it and it transformed almost like the day of the battle i can only be grateful that it's a stormy day few will have seen the tower change from meridian what did you discover hades the danger didn't end here it went into the forbidden west and i have to follow i see that can be difficult the west is called forbidden for a reason a tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it, the Tanakh, and they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Ard, a fragile peace has been negotiated, and indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage, instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Uh, the Sun King. Here comes Havad. <laughs> Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now, please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace, but I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. A Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Uthid, Vanasha. Quick, better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? <laughs> Golden spear, I like it. Try it on. <laughs> that looks skinny. It's beautiful. Saying. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Edelman looks adorable, yeah. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. Hmm. 
Well, guess we need to talk to people here. Cool. I need to attach the master override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. Well, let's go do that first, and then we'll talk to them. Oh, we could. Uh, let's... A workbench. Yeah, workbench first. All right, we got a golden spear. Yeah, no Manash apps yet. He would yet, I guess. <laughs> there we go. What did we craft? Spear upgrade, I guess. Installs the master override and a new module to enable the buildup and release of kinetic energy in combat. Requires a resonator blast skill to use. Gotcha. I'll keep that okay. in mind. Master override installed. So move it. Move it. Fanasha, thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it, even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Fanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment, but I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to, and it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress, please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. Oh, bad luck choices. How have you been? You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk? May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part... Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. <laughs> I guess uh, Vanasha still has her sass, I guess. <laughs> I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Huh? Oh, dear. Uh, we were talking about Edaman? Yeah. Okay, I admit it. Edaman's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. I was about to say that, Seth. <laughs> it's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> after you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> right, nonsense. Well, I, I know, I know, you're out. Go, away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Fair enough. I wonder if people that never did the Queen's Gambit quest on the first blue will have any idea who these two are. <laughs> but fair enough. Nice to see Vanasha and uh, Uther again. Got a bit more character to it, at least. Uh, I know you guys pointed these out, but I'd already beaten them. I assume I don't have to beat them again. Let's talk to uh, Nazari. Dowager Queen Nazari. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of Shadow. Did I say right? You said it fine, Edmund. And you're welcome. 
champion. Will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? It's a man. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! Ah, Thunderjaws are easy, my friend. I don't have to worry about those. That's kind of wholesome and sweet. Nice. I don't know why, he reminds me a little bit of Opili. <laughs> or maybe I've just uh, seen too many Opili runs. I don't know. Could be. <laughs> you talk to the others here? Savior, the orb remains untouched, as per Blameless Marad's instructions. Guess uh, we got a bot as well. That was very adorable. Apparently, Aloy is good with kids. Indeed. <laughs> the sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Nox territory. By the sun, the Tanakh? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but after years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. How convenient. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Barren Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. Sounds like, uh... He putting that a little lightly. Yeah, his posture is, uh... Is it weird to say that his posture is almost too good? I don't know if that's a weird thing to say, but... Kind of feels that way. How did you get the Tanakh to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. But if they want lasting peace, and they control most of the Forbidden West, wouldn't that make the West just West and not forbidden? If they are successful? Who knows? What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, oh, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No. Not in this case. Fashav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. I feel like we're gonna go to some of these places he's talking about. Foreshadowing, I assume. Your cousin, Vashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. 
That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him, I will. And Edaman. Edaman looks happy. You got him out of Sunfall. <laughs> Any happiness he has, he owes to you. It's all his life twice his height. <laughs> he's turning into a fine young man, which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? Yes, well, I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me, but I find I'm always trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. Yeah, subtlety was never really a that strong suit, was it? <laughs> Seems like it's only gotten worse in this game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? Long enough for us to spend time to get to know each Daddy's other. Daddy's trying hard, perhaps. Oh boy, are you kidding? <laughs> it's a nice thought. Now is not the time. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he's definitely making it obvious that uh, what his intention are, I guess. <clears throat> but uh, hey, I'm gonna pick now. It's not the time. I mean, are you kidding? I kind of want to pick it just to hear what she says, but I will go with now is not the time, because it's is not the time. We're we're heading west. Avad, the the situation calls for a a higher perspective. The threat I'm facing endangers not just Meridian, but a lot of other places too. A lot of innocent people. What happens between us? It's not important. Ouch. At least, n not yet. You're right. Oh, that was a tough friend zone like right there. Jesus. Will he recover in the, the second half? Calls for a higher perspective. That is a damaging blow. Critical damage. Please accept my apology. And my wishes for your success. Goodbye, Aloy. As always, our hopes ride with you. Also, don't take this the wrong way, but uh, one thing I noticed during this dialogue is the graphics are so good you can see, like, his chest hair. Well, that's everyone. Make of that what you will. I guess it was nice to catch up for a little while. But yeah, that was emotional damage, for sure. That was... I don't know, I, it's been a while since I've seen somebody get friends friend zone that hot before, like, holy... Oh boy. <laughs> Looking at Avat's chest there. Well, it's very noticeable, okay? <laughs> Is that the time? Or do you want to chat some more with your friends? Stay longer. Time to go, I guess. I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. 
A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. <laughs> and ball is up. The count. He's totally gonna ditch them. Think you're right. But why? Second time Aloy abandons the main. Ooh. What is this song? It came out of nowhere. It sounds like a banger. Oh, here we go. Matthijs de Jong. Or other Dutch names I can't pronounce. I feel like the only Dutch name I've ever been able to pronounce is Max Verstappen. But oh well. <laughs> God, the game looks beautiful. Shout out to Gorilla, by the way. From what I've seen so far, I'm sure they are already very proud of this game. Oh, Mega Sent, by the way. By the way, this song is really good. Great show. Yeah, end credits. There we go, song call. Charge your soldiers at the song, song call. It's a tall neck. Well, looks like I got a new song to add to my playlist, by the way. Was gonna end. Of course, looking over the horizon is a place. Sparks to steel. Ha! Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes. I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. Oh, let me clear that out. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then, who would crank it back up? 
Fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. Oh, trophy. I see smoke, the don't. but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines oh wrecked. Oh god, look at this view. As for the quiet, yeah. well, there's a work stoppage in effect the because of New all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones, and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. Ooh, bristle Strangenesses, man. they're not native to the dot. What is that Just down there? Showed up, That's all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Oh, we've got hunters. Just none that want to cross Olvent. Boss of chain scrape. He is self-appointed. Looks like some old graces. His idea. Yeah, well, I'm just oh, what is that? passing yes. through. Got an embassy Hello. to attend. Looks beautiful over there. You <laughs> should have said. That ain't that gonna anything? happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man. So Let me says. guess, Naman? That embassy at Baron Light? The he's the one supposed to run it! Ah. <sighs> Great. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, okay, that's I was not forced not. to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this, this, what, this Nora girl, this savage, besides Scallywag. Wadis, that's Aloy. Studious Wadis. Aloy, you know, savior of Meridian. Really? Not <laughs> really. Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the embassy at Baronlight. way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Araman proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less... scroll. Vadis. Studious Vadis. Studious Vadis sent Erend and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak... Hey! Shh. <laughs> Down the valley then? <laughs> yeah, said they check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the smith and chain scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down <coughs> quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorif, would you kindly escort Studious to Chain Scrape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun, it will be. Trust me. Eloy is bossing around. I gotta find Erend. But it might be good to hit Chain Scrape first and upgrade my bow. Oh, loot. Get lower. Oh, 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 data point. I see it. 
New data point. Commander's mandate. <clears throat> scroll. A short scroll of parchment with a official with an official seal. By ma <clears throat> by mandate of com Commander uh, Nosar, all residents of the Dawn are herewith informed of the following. The gates between Baron Light and No Man's Land are hereby ordered shut and sealed in expe in expectation of the imminent embassy. None are allowed passage either way until further notice. No exceptions will be made regardless of clan, house or tribe. Based on previous grievances and misunderstanding, let it be clear that no exceptions will be made for the Osaran either. <clears throat> Any outstanding agreements made um, pertaining to passage are hereby declared postponed or void, depending on the nature and timing of their arrangement. No exceptions will be made. Again, to eliminate any doubt, should they remain all of the above uh, patents to the Osram, regardless of circumstances, excuses or so-called uh, binding contracts, any complaints and or uh, restitution, if at all uh, applicable, can be addressed to Captain Lawen, my second in command. Signed in the light of the sun, Nosa uh, Aaron Kuwaman, commander of Baron Light. Like we uh, have a bit of a male Karen there. I'll get us packed up and move us along. Yeah, it's okay. If you'll excuse me, I need to contemplate. That's a good way of putting it. Know your place, sir. I assume you take this if you want to go back to Meridian. Like to travel between maps. Oh, is this the map? Oh. Yes. I assume this is the Forbidden West. Aaron Lights, yeah. What is this one? Change scrape. Go to Aaron's last known location. Gotcha. Oh, and we got some question marks. I smell <clears throat> I smell side quests. Alrighty. Is that a burrow around there? Yeah it is. Ah, oh, they're so cute. And easy to kill. Do -do -do -do. Oh, campfire. Oh. Fast travel three. What? Oh, you got a free fast travel? What? A boar. The boars look a lot different. At least a lot more detail. Whoop. So meat will come in handy eventually in this playlist. What do we have here? More. I guess this has to lead to somewhere. Oh, those climbing spots were really hidden. Damn. Smoke. I wonder where it's coming from. Oh, down there. Give me a side quest down there. Oh, metal flower. Let's go. Is that a metal flower? Not even a dent. It was. How does this work? I assume follow the blue thing. Uh huh. Minecart system. I assume I get something at some point that can interact with this. Maybe I'm just not realizing it. Hmm. Oh my god, I can't believe they reused the repel animation. This game is shitty now. Miners. Looks like they're in some kind of trouble. I've been waiting to say that for a long time. Did I scan it? Uh, no. I actually didn't. Better leave it alone for now. Metal power spreading organic veins, vulnerable to impact special gear. Required to clear. Oh, well, there you go.
So something happens to these guys. I think that's the foreman. I should check in with him. <sighs> you good? I, I'm okay. Thank you, Corvent. Corvent? Not, not now. Uh, huh. Uh, Easy. Whew. What happened? Explosion in the mine. The water flooded the whole place. I, some of my guys are still... They're still down there. I can't, I can't stop. You've done enough. I don't know. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? A whole place filled with water? Some Osram still down there? Are they giving me up right now? Are you hurt? I'm... I'll live. The others. Please. That's not what I was thinking about, guys. I was thinking about a certain someone that also was stuck in a place filled with water. I need to know exactly what happened. We use controlled blasts to open up new veins in the mountain. One of them must have gone wrong. I can't... I have to go. How many are still down there? Corvent, how many? Uh... Two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. Deep trouble. Alright, I guess we're doing a side quest. Uh, let's put that as active then. Level 5 side quest. But we're only level 2. Eh, that has never stopped me before. Crimson Narrows. Gotta find those two miners. Quick. Looks like we're going for swim. Oh boy. There's some disgusting water. Hello? Can anyone hear me? No response. Uh, how do I get up there? Because that's purple loot. I'll dry off. Eventually. Probably there's a way. I assume we're gonna drain the water and maybe then I can climb it. Yeah, we definitely need to go on the water again. Oh, boost. Gotta look hard for those. There we go. Not a big boost. Miners. Oh. One of them doesn't look too good. Is that a Nora? Not Gilman. Oh well. <laughs> are you okay? Who are you? Corvin sent me. Are you hurt? Uh, my leg. I. I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel, but the scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I. I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah. She'll still be some up top, but... You'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? <laughs> you can't move. And I'm not leaving you. It's not like she can make things worse. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, you drink some water, right? I need to find whatever's blocking that drainage shaft. I guess we're diving again. Also, I think I just noticed you can skip Aloy's dialogue by Almost going underwater. There. I have a feeling that will be useful information oh. to speedrun. Made it. There's the debris blocking the shaft. Why does this look like a combat arena? Up on that track. Maybe I can blast with the blockage. I guess I was supposed to climb over here. Stop making speedruns. Sorry, I apologize. I'll uh, I'll turn on the casual mindset again. 
Wait. Oh, that's not climbing spots, apparently. Let's go underwater and see what we get. Oh, there's a ladder over here. Up we go. Looks like this is going to be a bit of a climbing puzzle. Also fight. And I'm sure there's loot up there. If I find where these machines are made, I might learn how to override them. <laughs> Subtle hindered cauldrons. Uh, Slim Jensi, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Welcome to the old tribe. Enjoy your emotes and welcome to chat. Just a reminder for uh, people in the chat right now that. Um, Due to a lot of spoilers, a lot of leaks, and generally a lot of information about this game going around right now. Uh, I have decided to have chat in sub only mode until I've beaten the game. Just because... Uh, self kill 10 machines, nice. Uh, so yeah, just to... Uh, came at me quicker than expected. So yeah, just to, um... I think that's all of them. Okay, this spear is definitely stronger. Gotta find a way out of this room. What does these do? I don't know what they do, but... Oh, it creates a smoke! Oh, so like a temporary, like, tall grass kind of thing. I need to find a way up to those explosives. Oh, that's, a, that's an interesting mechanic. I assume we're gonna see more of that in the game. Shooting nearby mushrooms will create temporary stealth areas. That's a really neat idea. Nice. I should follow those tracks. See if they lead to the explosives. Yeah. So yeah, sub only mode until I've beaten the game. Normally my uh, chat is open for everyone uh, to talk in chat, but again, just. Some people, uh, you know, can't be in chat without having spoiling anything, so sub-only mode is just a drastic solution we have to take for the problem. Until I've beaten the game. Which will probably take a couple of days, I assume. But we'll get there eventually. That was a lot of loot. Nice. Down here. Can you use this here? No? There's the explosives. Up oh, on I'm the over track. here now. Just need to get across somehow. Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. Oh, yeah. I can. This one. Seems to like they prioritize puzzle areas and this more than tiered on. Yeah. So far, it feels like they've definitely taken some inspiration from the Tomb Raider games, which I personally think is a good idea. Oh, this card is full of blaze. Oh, uh, uh, no, 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 don't fall down. I can save this. There we go. Almost fell down. Everything is under control. No need to panic. Everything was under control the entire time, people. Stand above the explosion. Don't mind. <laughs> Play skip, yeah. <laughs> that was a big boom. <laughs> Looks like we cleared it. <laughs> I assume the water can drain now. Oh, guess that got its attention. find something that can make my bow quicker. 
I want to hit that belly of this bird. I want to see what it does. Because I gotta stay out of the water here. to dodge there, but apparently not. Gotta be a bit more careful. Huh. Guess that got its attention. Just need to go for some big hits to knock him out. Because my spear is so much better than my bow right now. I'm not giving up. Yeah, freeze doesn't work in water. Just like zero on. Gotta get them over to the shallow ground. Wait, my own freeze damage system? That's new. God, crafting ammo is extremely slow. I'm sure there's probably a skill to speed it up. Huh. Guess that got its attention. Oh, uh, uh, we can just deal with spear here. quest and I'm still level 2. But, you know, in my ears that's, or in my mind that just sounds like an extra challenge, you know. Because I am a resident idiot when it comes to that. I'm at level 3. Sorry, level 3. Do you have bombs? How long does it take to plant a bomb? shorter than I thought it would be. Gotta get more ammo. Oh. Holy crap, that shot. <laughs> also the fact that uh, my own freeze oh. damages me. Okay. Let's go for the more aggressive spear play here. Launch of that spirit attack. Down. God damn. 
that it? That's all of them. Wait, it just said killing all the machines were optional. I just noticed that in the in the menu there. Oh well, they're dead now. Wait, wait, wait. Please pull caster and stay away. Step away from pull. Could I have used that to climb up somewhere? Oh. Yeah, for better or so, so far I would say it's harder, but I feel like I'm probably just having worse weapons or like really low starter weapons. And I think very hard. They probably have up, up the ante a bit on very hard and maybe they won't that ultra hard. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. She's so dead. We don't know that. She's so dead. Hello. I'm alive. You did it. I thought you blew yourself up. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. Thanks, kid. I guess we have to return up. Unknown location. 40 steps. <laughs> what is that? Isn't that way I came from? Oh. Better let Corvin know his men are all Boom, but how do I get to it? Is the question. Uh, all the tracks, I guess. How are you trying to pull that? Clearly above. Just give me a minute. There's like, what is this? Blood path missing. Oh, missing tool. I gotcha. I didn't notice it said missing tool. Apologies for my stupidity. It is probably only going to be the first of very many times I have to apologize for my stupidity in this playthrough. Alright, let's head out. Talk to this guy. Also, notice a thing here. There's no longer a tr transition between when you climb into like a enclosed space and when you go out. It literally is just part of the world now. Because you might remember in Zero Dawn, if you entered a space, there would usually be a, either a long, slow door animation or a little cutscene of Aloy walking into it. Nice little detail, I guess. I found the two you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I dread to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvut, <sighs> he kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I. I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvan can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. Nice. Completed our first sight His name keeps coming up, and it's never good. Sooner soon. or later, someone's gonna have to deal with him. I guess we are... Oh, face paint unlocked. Hello? Is that still in the menu you turned those on? On the visuals? I guess not. Probably in the menu now. Inventory outfits. Uh, Nora anointed. Is that what the shield reaper is called now? Well-worn armor made by Reaper's technology, ancient lab. Da, 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 da. After losing its power source. So hopefully we'll get the power source, I guess. 
Special gear. Pullcaster. All the resources. Holy crap, it looks like you can carry a lot in your inventory. the Travis Tate one. What's this one? Did I read this one? I don't think I did. I think we got some data points here. Uh, two data points after... At some point that I apparently missed. Uh, so let's read them, I guess. What to do about Dalgard? Text lock. Uh, data corrupted. On the matter of Mr. Dalgard, he's been a valuable member of Farsina for years. Even Peter saw uh, the need for a Polish spokesperson uh, to preserve anonymity. Anonym anonym That's a hard word. For the rest of us. <laughs> but what all the new members we recruited to increase the funds of the Odyssey uh, expedited, expedited the timeline. There are simply not enough um, berths on the ship to accommodate. Cuts have to be made. And let's face it, Oswald lacks the skillest skill set for future aims. He retaliate if we ex exclude him, of course, so we'll have to give him a proper send-off. But that doesn't mean that his usefulness must end. We have plenty of source material to generate a digital puppet given us means to data corrupted. I assume that's the guy we saw in the data points talking about fast enough. Oh, yeah, hologram, sorry. And then we got uh, Delver's journal. Book. A journal filled with hasty squall, squall glyphs. Day one, we descended into the valley and breached the ruins. Buzz always had a good sense uh, for dwarf sites, and by forge was he right. This place is untouched. Had to knock down a few machines while we were moving our gear. Pesky things keep popping out of the ground, but otherwise we got the whole place to ourselves. Set up camp near the main entrance. Uh, far, pur far off, uh, nearly jumped out of. Sorry, uh, far, far off, nearly jumped out of his skin when he dropped his hammer and it went uh, clanging down the stairs. Kids first well. I reckon even if he swears, otherwise he is lucky. Uh, this one above ground at least. Uh, day two, pushed further into the ruins. Bus tested the new latest prototype. What's he? What he? Sorry, what he is calling the, calling a hook and pull. Uh, name needs to work if you ask me. I showed Faroth uh, a simple trick uh, to evaluate uh, salvage. The less it's rusted, the higher a price it fetched in Meridian. All in a good, all sorry, all in a all in all a good day, until he insisted he saw uh, the trees shaking across the river, kids ju uh, jumpier than a frog on hot coals. Sorry, it's late at night. It gets harder for me to read. <laughs> late at night. Hopefully, uh, you guys can keep up with it. Day four. Felt the deed rumble in the day of night. Land shake maybe, but it's got a whole crew on edge. Boss ordered half of us to set up a second camp further in. Figures he'll pick this place clean faster if we split up. No arg arguments there. I think, I think I'll set up a training dummy uh, for Faroth. Kid can barely hold his own against a burrow. Day six. Only a few of us left. Kid didn't make it. Machine blasted him with acid. And the river at the river crossing. Can hear the slither fang slithering outside. Few more minutes rest, then we're going to make a run for it. Yeah. Assume they didn't make it. I guess we can talk to uh, Covent here again to get another uh, quest from him, probably regarding uh, what was he called? Ulwind? Thank you, Huntress. I'll see the last two make it out. Thank you, Huntress. I'll see the last two make it out. I'm just maybe it's just I can talk to him, I guess. 
Um, we've got a question mark over here. Go check it out. Oh, it's the house up there. But can we get up there? But yeah, my reading skills are not as good when we get late into the night here, so... There's an old watchtower oh, at the top of that cliff. Yo, Demon uh, Gyro, oh, thank you for the seven month like reason. Really appreciate it. A long time ago. I'm gonna have to climb. Oh, we can climb this rock. Or we can jump around it. That works too. But thank you so much for the seven month reason. I really appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Up, up, up to the top. Seems like it's gonna be a long climb. But hopefully, whatever is up here will be worth it. But yeah, free climbing is... I mean, I wouldn't say it's actually a thing, because it doesn't look like I can climb whatever I want, but... Well, you got a lot more options when it comes to climbing, that's for sure. Yeah, the yellow line's cool. Apparently in accessibility, you can also make them a bit more visible, uh... In case uh, they're a bit too thin. I could definitely see that if you maybe there don't have go. the best eyesight. <laughs> do, do, do. What is up here? Loot. By the way, didn't I get another skill point? Wait, it says I have four skill points, doesn't it? Am I reading that correctly? I think I, I am. Uh, get deep concentration. Um, I kind of want to check out here. Important medicine. Uh, medical berries provide more healing and heal you faster. Yeah, it's probably worth it since we're playing on hard difficulty. Or very hard. The low health defense. Resist more damage when in the critical health state below 25. Automatically quarter of a health sooner when in critical state below 25. We aren't very hard, so if we get into 25, I feel like we're just gonna die from a hit anyway, so. Not gonna spend points there just yet. Silent Strike Plus. Silent Strike deals more damage. Eh, sure. Eh, let, let me see what else there is. Mounted defense. Take less damage while mounted. Nice. Not worth it right now, though. Uh, what do we have here? Quick trapper. Place traps faster on the field. Yeah. Uh, personal blast. First strike an enemy with melee attack to build up energy on your spear. Then fully uh, charge tap R2 to energize your target. That sounds cool. I'll take that. this uh, Nora warrior a powerful melee combo among Nora warriors useful in knocking down small machines and staggering larger ones uh, so r1 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 r2 yes sounds like that's gonna be fantastic for early game i'll definitely grab those all right let's continue our climb and where do we go from here there's a yellow convenient yellow uh, piece of lumber right here to climb. Halo's hands are glitching through it a little bit. There are definitely some visual glitches, but nothing I would really criticize the game for, to be fair. I mean, you certainly could if you really wanted to be nitpicky. But, uh, you know me. It's not... Some kind of device. The metal reflects the sun. Send a signal? Uh, can we do something with it? Oh, what did it say? Yeah, those signal lens. Lens of dawn. Looks like some kind of lens. Guess I'll keep it for later. Probably used for something. A dome shaped uh, piece of glass that reflects light, recovered from a Kaja signal tower at the northeast end of the dawn. Hmm. Probably gonna be useful. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I can probably do the workbench thing. Uh, let's have a look at the map here. Uh, we got burrow side chargers. Uh, there's another unknown here, so let's go over here. What is that? Banghorn. Like a reindeer? Looks like it. It's a new one. Also an unknown there. Cool. Uh, let's head for uh, the question marks. And if you're wondering how I'm gonna play through this game, I'm just gonna do whatever I feel like, by the way. So if you expect me to just beeline the main quest, uh, don't expect that, basically. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I would assume it's just another Grazer Lanshorn variant. But if it looks like a reindeer, that's awesome. And look at the butterflies and stuff. Those blue Find butterflies just later. lying around. Let's just make sure we get enough rich wood here. But sooner or later, I'm probably gonna run out. There's probably also craft ammo while there's no machines around. I definitely need something that makes me craft faster, that's for sure. Right now, crafting is so slow. Oh, there they are. Fire Fanghorn. Grand fire, weak to ice. Let's not fight them just yet. Let's just uh, admire them for now. I'm sure we'll encounter a hostile one eventually. But they do look beautiful with those fiery horn things. Oh, that's a great rabbit running across there. Is this underneath? Really, there's a hole somewhere here. Or an entrance to something. What was that? Why is there a random black screen there? Is there any way on the map, maybe? Maybe over here? Could be that there's... Some way in or something? Anything up? Oh. Oops. Yeah, I don't know what is, is supposed to be here, but I just climb up here again. Maybe there's something on top here that I'm missing. There's a bit of leaf. I don't know what this is. Uh, I think I'll come back to it later. Figure out what it is. Maybe it's not accessible, right? Oh, oh, time to fight. Is that scandary? It could be. He was up here. But 
doesn't look like an area is supposed to go through them. Because you literally can't see anything. This is... Also, it's showing... Under? Oh, you mean from water. Oh, yeah, it does look kind of convenient. Ah, of course, we can dive underwater. I keep going black, is it because I end up in a spot where I'm stuck or something? Oh! You are a little bit more clever than me, I'll admit. Hopefully we can survive this dive. It seems like it could be a long one. Sit in low, get up, get up. Good call. I didn't think of that. Of course, you can die on the water. In this game. Somebody died here. Green shine silver. Some version of blue gleam, maybe? Probably should have read what that was. Whoa. Unavailable. Okay, we need some underwater explosives, I assume. Get up, get up, get up. Yeah, what other obvious thing will I forget tomorrow? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Remember, I guess you can dodge a bit on the water to swim slightly faster. <laughs> Alright, so we can't explore that until we have something of some sorts. Who the next question mark? That you can change how much time slows down than using the weapon wheel in the settings. Not for a skill. Oh. Fair enough then. I'll look into that at some point. But why would that be a accessibility thing? <laughs> Wait, wasn't this where we came down? Oh yeah, this is where we started, in this area. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, fair enough if somebody said that. Uh, I'll look into it eventually. For now, let's just keep exploring for a bit. Looks like that's the settlement we have seen in uh, some of the trailers and stuff. Exciting to go there in a bit. First, there's exploring to do. Take yeah, this to a dyer later. A dyer? Ooh, color outfits? 
<laughs> Otherwise, why would there be a tire? Can we actually call outfits? Are we gonna have some fashion horizon zero dawn like Ghost of Tsushima? You'd love to see it. Oh, is that another die? Maybe not. I thought I could click that. Looks like there's another tower. This place has seen better days. Uh, can I get up? Thank you. Seems like there's gonna be these towers all over the place with a reward at the top. Yep. Am I supposed to go? Yeah, I think so. Looks correct. Oh no. Really? Really? You're just gonna throw a hole in the ground in front of me and I'm supposed to just notice that? It will be on YouTube. Possibly tomorrow. Depends on how quickly YouTube is to process the video. Devices. And lens. Another lens. I'll figure out what to do with it later. Sure, we'll figure that out, sir. I don't know, middle flower thingy. Looks like the same plant we saw next to the middle flower. Let's squeeze through there. I guess we'll just use the door. I pass them. Guess I should leave it for now. Hmm. Apparently we need a tool to deal with these metal blocks. Fair enough, I guess. Oh well. Time to head down and see what uh, all the fuss is about in this town. Is Aloy trying to build a TV antenna? Yes. Aloy is gonna... Joe said I could get my bow upgraded in there. I'll we'll be able to tinker with my other gear too. God, the water is so stunning. <laughs> um. A question mark? Game keeps throwing question marks at me, and I just can't ignore. But yeah, Eloy is gonna start her own uh, pirate TV station, I guess. I assume that is her plan with all these antennas. This way. Hmm. Follow the road. Probably the idea here. This road does not lead up there. <laughs> Surely, this way. I see something that looks like a repel point there. Well, let me guess, I should have gone the other way. this cliff oh here we go if there's anything interesting at the top yeah i wonder
An old Karja watchtower. I wonder what's inside. I wonder, another antenna thingy. Probably. This climb has certainly been quite a lot longer than the, the previous ones. I thought I was gonna fall to my death. I didn't think right there, I was just like, I'm just gonna jump. But why would I do that? Pretty big gun. <laughs> no problem, demon. <laughs> Glad I could be of assistance. Okay, almost there. Here we are. Looks like there's another device up here. Lens. All right, three signal lens, three out of six complete. I can almost see the entire valley up here. No wonder the Karja built this watchtower. But yeah, it is getting a little late, not gonna lie. And I'm also starting to feel pretty tired. We got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. We will certainly get a lot more done. I assume I'm gonna be able to uh, maybe save in here, but uh, we'll see. Stocking up for the hunt. I have a feeling there's gonna be a cutscene once I walk up here. Uh, what's that campfire close by? I would like to progress right now, but I feel like I'm gonna be too tired, so. I'm gonna fast travel to this campfire and uh, manually save and call it for today. Assume I can, yeah, manually save. There we go. So it looks like you get a. F From what I understand here, I assume fast travel three means you can fast travel without using a pack if you're at a campfire. I assume that's what it means. But yeah, I think I'm gonna call it here for tonight, cause I am, I'm pretty pooped, <laughs> pretty tired. But uh, it was fun that we got through the beginning of the game. We went for like three and a half hours, or something like that. So yeah, just the beginning of the game. But of course, tomorrow we'll play for a lot longer. But uh, yeah, you know, just wanna don't wanna play too much right now, cause. I would rather get some good night's rest and then play for a lot longer tomorrow, because that will also be more entertaining, I feel like. So, we'll continue this again tomorrow. I'm not sure when I'll start tomorrow, depends on when I wake up and when I get some things done. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah. But we'll continue this tomorrow.